Welcome to the VMware Integrated OpenStack product demonstration. In this video, we will walk you through the steps involved in deploying the vApp for VMware Integrated OpenStack. VMware Integrated OpenStack can be deployed as an OVA template. To do this, we navigate to the Hosts and Clusters view. Select the cluster, which in this example is Management. Go to Actions, and then click on Deploy OVF Template. Deploying the OVA is similar to deploying any other virtual appliance. Specify the URL or click on Browse to locate the OVA file, if you have it downloaded, as in this example. Click Next. Review the OVA resource requirements, accept the EULA, and click Next. Assign a name to the vApp and select the folder you wish to place the vApp in, and click Next. Choose the destination data store, the virtual network the vApp would use, and click Next. Enter the properties for the VMware Integrated OpenStack management server. If the SSO lookup service resides on the same location as vCenter, you can retain the default value here. Enter the remaining configuration information and click Next. This prompt reminds us that an extension will be added to the vSphere web client for managing VMware integrated OpenStack. Review all the settings, choose to power on the vApp after deployment, and click Finish. After the deployment, log out and then log in again. On the home screen, we can now see the VMware Integrated OpenStack plugin added. Let us now change the default password for the VMware Integrated OpenStack management server. We go to Hosts and Clusters, select VMware Integrated OpenStack, and choose the management server virtual machine, and launch its console we see that the console displays the randomly generated password. We will use this login information to access the management server and change its password. The vApp deployment progress is complete, and we can move on to deploying the OpenStack management components. This concludes the VMware Integrated OpenStack product demonstration. Thank you.